Hey, that's been do here. Today we're gonna to learn how to create an auto resizing lower third with the expression source rack at time. Before we start creating a lower third, let's learn more about this expression. We can do so by going to expression.ahands.com. So over here is an expression library, uh, reference library that you can always read up on in case you're unsure of what exactly an expression do. So we're gonna search, search source rack at time, and we're gonna go with first result and scroll down. And over here we have layer .source rec at time, and it gives the description of its function. So basically, it's returning this four attribute depending on what we type in: the top left coordinate and the width and the height. All right. So let's hop into After Effects and put this into action. All right. So in After Effects, I have this text layer, uh, and I've extracted all the source rec uh, data or all the attribute data into another text layer, so we can see what happens. Uh, when I change the length of this uh, of this type, so when I type in uh, more letters, you can notice that source rec at time is is uh, adapting to the size of our text, and we're using this concept to drive our automatically resizing lower third. Let's start making our lower third. Let's say Command N and create uh, two lines of text. We're gonna Command T for the text tool. Click on the square point text by clicking once. We're gonna type name. And we're going to hit uh, Command D and create line 2. And maybe we can make the first line uh, slightly bigger, so maybe like a 85. All right. So in, uh, one thing I like to do is have all data accessible on the noun layer. So let's create a noun uh, layer, uh, Command Option Shift Y, rename it to data. And uh, we're going to create a bunch of uh, controls. First of all, we want to reference which line we're going to get uh, our width and height from. Let's create a, get a layer control effect in our effects and preset panel. And over here on my left hand side, I can select the name as the layer I want to grab the data from. We're going to create a add on point control. Uh, point control is like a slider uh, control, but it has two, it's an array, it has two values. So we can contain our width and our height over here. So we can rename this height and width. And uh, we also want to add padding later on. So let's create duplicate that and type in padding. And we're gonna duplicate. Uh, we're gonna because we're gonna add padding to the height width. Let's duplicate uh, that point control. And let's type in. This will be the final width and height which will we, which will feed into the shape layer. Uh, so we can type height width, uh, width padding, width path, all right? And now we can write all expression. So in our first uh, point control, hit option click on the stopwatch, and we're going to first reference the layer. T is equals to that layer, semicolon. And now we can uh, create uh, an array, square bracket, T dot source rec at time dot with and comma t dot source rec at time dot height okay. okay and now we have the data in that in the now layer okay and now I want to add this and, and then now I want to add a padding into this height and width data uh, so let's hit option click on the stopwatch and we're gonna reference that data plus that our padding. So right now you can see if you do the math plus 50, we'll get this final value. And now we can create our shape layer for our text box. So we can create, uh, let's draw a random size. And let's put, uh, put it behind our text layer. Press uh, W and you can see that uh, this shape layer has, uh, has a size uh, in pixel that we can control and, and change so we're gonna use we're gonna uh, link this size of the shape layer to our data. Option click on the stopwatch of our shape layer size, and we're gonna pick with the data to our height and width. And I'm gonna click outside, and you can see the size is exactly the same as our name width uh, plus fifty pixel because we have padding. If I were to go into my control my padding control over here, I can increase the size of it, but it's the thing now, it's resizing from the middle. We don't want that. So uh, we have to lock the anchor point 
of this shape layer uh, to the left hand side and we're gonna make use of source rack at time again so let's hit A on the shape layer click on option click on the stopwatch uh, because source rack at time is a long uh, long expression right we can just make it a variable called s all right source right time semicolon and we can create uh an array s dot top and uh, no, left so we we want it to be on the left hand side and s dot top so it when we click on that we click outside and click on notice our our um anchor point is locked to the left so if i resize it it'll always be there um, so if we're now going to place it here where my name is and I would change the type it will always resize from the left cool uh, so that's pretty nice now let's increase the Y padding so we can get line 2 as well and we can position it properly um, let's see so right now you can see that um, it's not our text is not it's not falling exactly because we have I have messed with the scale so let me just uncheck this and put it back to 100 and we can now go back to our padding reduce it, the X padding to um, a bit maybe a little bit smaller okay so we have created the low, uh, this automatic resizing lower third uh, already but here's the thing, like what if I want my I want to create a control that automatically uh, that resize to whichever line is longer? What if line two happens to be uh, an even longer line? Uh, and I want the lower third to automatically sense that to use line two to reference. Uh, we can do so by going to our layer. Let's duplicate our layer control. And this will this layer control will be our line two selection. So let's hit uh, line two. Let me rename my text layer so we don't get confused. So this will be line two, line two, and lower third will be line one. All right. We're gonna write uh, an expression within our height width uh, point control. Uh, so we're going to use an if statement. The if statement is very simple. If the length of uh, line 2 is more than uh, line 1, then use that value. Um, so we can write if, uh, first of all, we need to create that uh, reference layer. So let's put target. Our target layer will, will be at line 2, semicolon. So we can write if statement. Um, as usual if and then the condition and the statement but this today we're going to learn about ternary uh, operator so it's like a different way of writing if statement uh, it's a short uh, shorthand for writing for writing it so uh, it goes like this so we're going to write oh we're going to add dot source right at time to our variable to make our life easier so we don't have to type everything out all right so turn the ternary uh, statement goes like this t dot width is if it's less than t2 dot width question mark so this first this first line uh, this first is 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 a, is a if is a condition and we're going to type the the uh, the statement that's going to happen if uh, this is true if this is true right we're going to grab t2 dot width comma and t we're going to use t1 uh the the first of line one uh height because we want we just only want to expect uh the the line just the x not a y we want the y to stay consistent and then uh and the l statement is followed by a colon and then create a square bracket t and then else if this is not true let's type in t dot width comma T dot height. All right. Click outside, and nothing happens, uh, which is okay. Let's go to our line two and start typing now. Okay. So let me just write certain gibberish, and you can see our lower third is automatically resizing to it. Okay. Let's make lo the line one even longer and see what happens. And you see, it's following line one. So just to explain to you what that what we wrote was a, it was a shorthand if statement so if 
you know, line one, the width of line one is shorter than uh, the width of line two, execute this, which is take the width of uh, line two. And then if not, if it's not true, you just stick with, you know, line one's width and height. So, um, and that's how you create an automatically resized lower third that also automatically knows which line to use uh, for, for the length. And uh, that's it for the tutorial. I hope you learned something today. See you next time. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. Please visit my website at docs.nosleepcreative.com for my curated list of expressions that you can use for your projects.